Derek Chisora wants that payday, but Tony Bellew says, nah, you might want to stay away. Let's talk. Push the weight in our flex. Flex the lavish one in the six. Yeah. Fit the runner boy, you make no question. Yo. You would run a motherfucker high stepping. Yo. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey. Motherfucker never learned your lesson. Yeah. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. Uh, 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 I mean, they want to drink blood, things out. Full moon, motherfucker. Change like a hoe, brother. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan, Bronx on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Boxing scene, link will be in the description. I found this very uh, interesting. Um, Tony Bellew wants Chisora to stay far away from Deontay Wilder. Yeah, you see him in the picture on the lower right-hand side. Let me, let me go on record and say this. I have no problem with Derek Chisora. I have no problem with Derek Chisora. You check his resume, he's fought a who's who. In the heavyweight division he's fought everybody relevant except deontay now um in this article um you know tony bellew is telling to stay away from deontay for what i feel is obvious reasons but let's read this past saturday night at the ot arena in uh london heavyweight veteran derek chisora ended his three fight losing streak with a 12 round split decision over kubrat puller in a fireworks rematch hmm. Around six years ago, it was Pulev who won the 12-round split decision over Chisora. Entering that fight, Chisora had lost the decision to Alexander Usyk in a pair of point verdicts uh, to Joseph Parker. After the fight, Chisora called for a fight with former WBC champion Deontay Wilder. I last won uh, a fight three years ago. I'm happy today, but at the same time, I'm sad. I don't have many left in me, but what I do have I will give all to you guys. So he's willing to put it out all on the table. I don't have many left, so my next couple of fights on my way out, you know, Chisora said, I, I, I don't want any easy fights. I want hard fights. He told Eddie Hearn the other day, if he can get me the bronze bomber, I'll be happy. I want to fight everybody in my ever win or lose. I just want to fight. But Chisora's close friend, former cruiserweight champion Tony Bellew does not want Chisora to take such a dangerous risk facing Wilder, widely regarded <laughs> as one of the most dangerous punches in the sport. That's the worrying thing about Chisora asking for Wilder, Bellew said. It's tough to see where he goes and which fights he wants. I'd rather see him fight uh, pull up again than Wilder. Wow. Who would want to see that again? It's 1-1. I would pay to see that again. Not, I'm not paying for Chisora versus Wilder. I don't want to see that. Listen, I'm going to go back. <laughs> I'm going to back him no matter what. But Deontay Wilder is one of the most ferocious punches in the heavyweight division. And uh, it's the mo he's one of the most ferocious punches that we've seen in uh, the heavyweight division in boxing in a long, long time. You know, that's the article. Link will be in the description, and here's my opinion. All right, a couple of things going on here. Salute to Tony Bellew. Uh, if you remember... Uh, Tony Bellew, um, he had a little beef with Deontay Wilder. Um, it's on YouTube, you know, and um, Tony Bellew was doing an interview. Deontay walked up on him, you know, yelling bomb squad, and, you know, they had a little shit match. But um, I remember something about Eddie Hearn saying, yeah, hey, man, you know, something about he said, like, yeah, I can get you. Can I, I can try and get you a fight with Deontay. I mean, that was when Eddie was throwing everybody at Deontay but Anthony Joshua. And Tony said, man, you know, at first, you know, I wouldn't have mind the fight, but, you know, uh, eventually he'd catch up to me and get me out of there. I mean, that's what Tony Bell, you said. And he said, man, you know, you, you want me to fight him? He, he said, no, you fight him. He said, the man put his arm around me. And was still able to touch his chin or something like that. He said, I ain't fighting him. You fight him, Eddie. So salute to Tony Bellew, keeping it honest. He said, I ain't going to fight him. You fight him. You understand? That was years ago. Tony Bellew is, I believe he's now retired. You know, he had a pretty good career. Um, and Derek Chisora is his friend. And he says, I don't want to see that for him. And I agree, Derek Chisova, you know, um, I have no problem with him. 
he's had a really good career. I know he had like 12 losses. He's been stopped three times. But when it's all said and done, I think he'll be a Hall of Famer. Due to his resume alone, he ain't never ducked no smoke. And now he's looking for the Deontay Wilder smoke. I, I could have swore, saw him read an article last week, something about he's tired of eating fish and chips. He wants to eat caviar. So, you know, he knows a, a fight with uh, Deontay Wilder would mean millions. You know, um, especially if Deontay said, you know, I'll throw your phone and I'll come to the UK and do it. That'll sell out immediately. Now, here's the flip side. First of all, Deontay Wilder's not in the given charity anymore. You have Tyson Fury to thank for that. He extended an olive branch for him. The guy was overweight, on the couch, in trouble, gave him a 50-50 split. And what did Fury do? He cheated him. I believe three times he cheated him. So, Derek, I think your countrymen ruined it for you. If he'd have played fair, like he's supposed to, Maybe we'd have a different, we'd be looking at something different right now. And maybe he would extend that olive branch to you. But now Deontay's antennas are so far up, he don't trust anybody. And rightfully so, because Derek, you know this 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 business of boxing ain't anything to uh to celebrate. You know it's not. Uh, another thing I want to point out in this article is that uh, you know, he referred to Eddie Hearn. Let me go back to what he said. He said, uh um, what did he say? He said, uh, I told Eddie Hearn the other day, if he can get me the bronze bomber, I'll be happy. Let me explain something to you. That's not going to work out, Derek. Because I don't think outside of him sending AJ over to America to face Deontay Wilder, he's not doing anything else with Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn is the reason why there's no undisputed champion right now. It was a toss-up between Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn, and Eddie Hearn did everything in his power, and he successfully blocked that fight. So I believe Deontay Wilder, I haven't spoken to Deontay, but I believe that he's done dealing with Eddie Hearn, unless, unless he says, you know what, Deontay, I'll, I'll give you AJ on a date that you want. That's it. That's it. So talking to Eddie Hearn to make a Deontay Wilder fight, that's not going to work out. You're better off reaching out to Deontay by yourself and seeing what he says. I don't know. Deontay's not retired. He said he's going to fight before the year's out. They have something in the works. I have no idea what it is. I don't know. But now we have to wait and see. What I do, well, I'm not going to say I know. It's more than likely not Derek Chisora. I know on paper it makes sense. You know, Deontay's coming off of a loss. This guy's coming off of a win. But listen, this ain't it, man. But salute to Derek Chisora. You know, um, I like the guy. I think he does deserve a payday. But you're not going to get it based off of what your countryman has done. And Deontay, because of that, Deontay's not so trusting. So, um, but more power to you, bro. Um, I don't know, man. Um, there might be another name out there. You can get a payday. You know, come over here and fight. You know, I don't know. I don't know. But Deontay out of the question and your buddy Tony Bellew is just uh, concerned about your health. Because that's not a safe fight. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Bronx on deck. Move!